it's clear after about a whole month of clouds and yeah it's pretty cool i don't know what to say apart from the fact i'm really happy it's clear so yeah some lovely views this evening those clouds were pink about 15 minutes ago because the sun is setting up there we've got venus venus and jupiter conjunction was a just over a week ago i think but i missed it because it was cloudy i was looking through some of my videos a little while ago and i haven't really specialized on a certain planet or star or any kind of nebula um, for any video so tonight i'm gonna try and shoot mars when shooting mars i'm gonna take a video and then with the video i'll stack all the frames from within the video to get a final image and then process that to get a better quality image um but yeah we'll see how it goes hopefully it goes pretty well teas go really cold outside i've realized so quite often i drink cold tea yeah um mars is quite a difficult target because mars obviously has an atmosphere making it quite blurry so it's pretty you're quite limited as to what you can do with mars the last photo i took it ended up just looking like an orange blob so i'm hoping tonight goes a lot better this is the scope i'm going to be using tonight it's my i say that like i've got more than one i've only got one this is my eight inch dobsonian from skywatcher and it's pretty awesome for a first telescope like if you're looking to get into the hobby and you don't want to spend thousands of pounds i'd 100 percent either recommend a six inch a 10 inch sorry no a six inch and eight inch or a 10 inch dobsonian obviously they vary in price descent depending on the aperture size but i've gone with an eight inch and i've got to say it's definitely been the best by i've purchase i've made in a in a long time even just getting into the hobby it was brilliant but yeah 100 percent recommend eight inch dobsonian from skywatcher if you want to get a telescope and it's only this one only cost me 400 pound so um not too bad and obviously i've spent i spent extra money on stuff like lenses and um adapters and a laser collimator but they're only a, the, the lens that was most expensive was 70 pounds and that was a two times barlow lens uh so yeah it's not too expensive but the hobby is quite expensive if you want to get other things like star trackers and more more advanced equipment this is the camera i'm going to use tonight it's a canon 1300d and it's a pretty entry-level camera i think it's around maybe three or four hundred pounds but it does the job and it definitely does a pretty good job for an entry-level camera and yeah this is the camera i'm going to use tonight you may or may not know from my previous videos that i also have a celestron omni two times bilo lens which if you don't know already it doubles the focal length of the telescope so my telescope is 1200 mil in the focal length so that then makes it 2400 mils which is quite a lot um this was the lens that cost 70 pounds and i'm pretty sure you don't have to spend 70. i wanted to because i saw um someone else's video and they had this lens in so i just i wanted to play it safe and get the same um but you can get others this is this is still a great lens though and it just feels nice it's pretty good quality gotta say though it does feel great to be making videos again after what felt like endless cloud and rain and just the worst weather imaginable pretty happy to be out here i'll link everything that i'm using in the video in the description like uh down to like um the adapter for the barlow lens so you can then connect your camera into the barlow lens because you can't just put your camera straight onto the telescope um 
So you need what's called a T-ring, which is this part here. And then in order to get your camera into the Barlow lens, you need to buy what's called a Barlow T-adapter. Um, I got the same brand again, I got Celestron. I just like the brand quite a lot. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll put everything in the description so you guys can have a look. And if you just want to buy any of it, still a bit bright to start shooting properly so i'm gonna come out in about maybe an hour it's also getting pretty cold and i've run out of tea and i also need to charge my phone so i can make a video see you in a bit that right there here is mars and I haven't got the settings quite right yet. I've just been trying to focus the telescope. Probably going to head inside in a couple of minutes because it's starting to get really cold and it's the wind just doesn't help with cold either. It's also pretty um, dewy out here. But if you can see that, 